drop the fish, homie. What are you staring at me for? You falling in love with me? Drop the fish. Uh, today we're doing an honest review of Sons of the Forest. Uh, I know that some of you would have liked this to be out the first day, but if we haven't learned from Cyberpunk that we shouldn't buy games as soon as they come out, then I don't know what to tell you. Those of us who don't know about Cyberpunk, it was uh, really hyped up and then a complete disaster when it was released. It didn't work for a lot of people. Anyway, that's, that's what we're dealing with these days with developers. And people say su support the developers and I say the developers should support us because we pay the developers they don't they don't pay us they don't give us the games for free they don't put characters with our likeness in the game there's no reason for us to support them when they're giving us trash in exchange for our money so I, th I think you kind of already know where I'm going with this review but I'm going to say the nice things first like I always do and I'm going to tell you if you're a fan of the first game the forest that you're probably gonna like this one and you should go ahead and buy it obviously expect there to be hiccups and things to be fixed in the future instead of right now uh, the graphics going into things I like the graphics are pretty good and it's pretty easy to go along and pick things up uh, they have a like a food dryer which I like and yeah you can cut arms and legs off of people and catch fish and dry them out uh, the building system is pretty cool the way you chop down trees is pretty cool The tree can't hurt you, so watch out. I throw up things like this just so I know from a ways off that I have a little, you know, forward operating base there. Yeah, you can kind of lean them here, you see the arrow. And you see that other arrow it just means I'm going to pick that huge log up with one hand and put another one under it. And you can build, you know, a whole square or a whole log mansion if you want to. And the only problem is finding a spot to do that because it doesn't like going up hills a whole lot. And if you wanted to, if you found like a flat spot at the beginning of a river you could go up river you could build something like right here to stop the logs and you could go up river and cut down trees and just throw them in the river well this is a stream but you know what I'm saying and and then just come down here and get them all you wouldn't have to carry them back and forth you can't make a sled you can't make a cart nothing like that to move materials even though they are few and far between. Okay, uh, try to think of some other things I like. Uh, there, there's not much. You see, if if I was a PvP person, there would be more. But I'm not a PvP person. I'm a PVE person. And when I play a survival game, I expect it to be like a survival game. I expect to be able to carry ridiculous amounts of stuff. I expect base building to be, you know, 
to allow me to build huge bases and you know complicated bases you know think Conan think seven days to die graphics I don't really care about graphics so much if I did I wouldn't like seven days to die there's one of those things yeah if you don't want me to poke you in the face you shouldn't have came around on me I may think of something else I like and add it in here, but for now I really can't. Anyway, we'll get into things I don't like. Why don't you shut your face? These things come around way too much. There's a slider for him, right? But you can't really make less of them come around. You can just change their behavior. I can't even see the arm and that's not good. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I just meant to pick it up. So you can change their behavior to make them less aggressive. And see, I can't even see myself sitting in this chair, which really sucks. But they keep coming around, you know. I'm, I'm trying to work on my base. I'm trying to catch fish, things like that. You know, it's a survival game. And these things keep coming around and they annoy me. And eventually more and more will keep coming and you'll have to like move to a different spot for a while and come back because they'll keep coming and they'll start hurting you there's there's no real way to heal yourself I mean you get a uh, you get some medicine right but that medicine is really hard to come by I mean you'll be almost dying and it'll talk about find some medicine but you know it's not like medicine grows on trees so I mean and these guys keep coming and coming and and the medicine is hard to find that that doesn't really work right another thing weapons like this spear I have in my hand and this bow takes tape tape is hard to come by. I don't like a lack of abundance in survival games. You see I have a lot of stuff here but it's because I'm not really using it and I haven't been playing the game for five minutes. I've been playing it for you know maybe 20 hours or something and you really need this stuff. You need the medicine, you need the tape and anything of importance really you need tape to make it's a, it's a good thing that this spear doesn't break because if you don't have more painters tape which they call it duct tape but I, I ain't never seen no blue duct tape if you don't have more painters tape then they won't let you make another spear uh, and they would be talking about like build a wall and you know build a little fort or whatever I, I don't know how you're gonna do that homie because look down there there's a nice flat spot down there right well what don't you see down there trees so I'd have to get trees from up here and take them down there two logs oh Jesus What's up, lady? Yeah, I see him. Two logs at a time. That would not be a speedy process. I, I can't give him a weapon.
I can't give her a weapon. What do you want me to do, lady? Chase him? What's well, not giving me the option right now to give her a weapon? Anyway, the other day, there was a little icon on her. And they would let me give her a pistol, which I've managed to find 14 bullets for already. Came with a full clip, 10 rounds, and then I found like four more bullets for it. You know, you might as well have no bullets at all. And I had the option to give her, it was like a shadow board. There was like a shotgun you could give her, which I don't have yet. So I couldn't make a spear for her. Uh, I couldn't make a bow for her. These are things that I have now. I can't do it. Can't give homie a weapon. Don't you buzz off in your face. Uh, I like that you can chop heads and arms off, and that is entertaining for a little while. There's no uh, hot bar, so like you can't press one for spear and two for hatchet and stuff like that. This is what they consider a hot bar. It's bringing up your back bat with with this crap here. You better find a new place to be, homie. I say find a new place to be. Don't cry now. When it gets dark, you can forget about doing anything, really. I mean, you can go in a cave or something, but... I mean, you can't hold a spear or a bow at the same time as you hold a flashlight. And like I said, you have, like, no ammo. So, you can forget about that. And it's super easy for one of those ninja cannibals to sneak up on you in the dark I'm aware it's realistic but I, I don't care if I want realistic then I, I'm gonna go camp in the woods myself I'm not gonna play a game I said you have to keep moving along and every time you do that You have to build a new base, a, a new little output. Because you can't survive. It's, it's too dark to go anywhere. Motherfucker, I, I didn't mean to do that, homie, but it's dark out here, and I don't know why you're jumping around. See, it's, it's just too dark for me to do anything. I ended up having some kind of glitch with the game where it wouldn't let me sleep at 
I had to restart the game before it would let me sleep. I was stuck in the dark for, for I don't know, maybe 10 minutes. And it happened again two or three more times. Hey, your little GPS thing here, you, you can't mark locations on it. So what you do is when you're in your new base, you take a screenshot of it and you have to save it somewhere. So you can turn the monsters off all the way in this game and I don't know why anybody would want to do that to set it on peaceful I mean that's that's not, not gonna be any fun I want there to be monsters but I, I also want to be able to work on my base and stuff you know, it's it's a survival game. It's it's not Resident Evil. It's it's not some game where you just go through and fight monsters and that's it. It's a survival game with base building and stuff. So you you can't have the monsters this the cannibals or whatever coming at you every five minutes. Mm, I need to put something right here. Just to mark the spot because it's not like I can mark a spot on my GPS, which is really stupid. I don't want to hear about no early access, homie. This is a $40 game. It sure ain't priced for early access. Oh, shit. I hope he didn't just kill my homie. This is what I'm talking about, yo. The monsters are too much. I, it's not like I have a pistol or something. I mean, I do have a pistol. But I can't use it because I got like 14 bullets. Small animal traps don't work yet. Fish traps don't work yet. Of course, all these things you can expect in early accents. No, don't don't take a break, homie. Don't take a break. I didn't mean to put that. And I gotta build a place to save again. It's it's really annoying. It really is. And where is Calvin? Up here resting. Man, we got stuff to do, homie. Because, and you know why I'm doing it right here when I have another place not far away? That's for one thing I can't save right before I go in that cave. Another thing, I'm about to go in that cave and I don't know what's in there. So I want to save right before I go in there. I mean, every time I get someplace, I have to. I have to build a place to save. I have to worry about how am I going to eat. It's not like Conan where there's an abundance of things.
That's, it's kind of hard to enjoy the game when I have to keep doing this. That's why I quit Green Inferno, because it's like, go 50 yards, set up a little base of operations. Go 50 yards, set up a little base of operations. The PvP people tend to be able to manage somehow without doing I don't know how. I mean, for one thing, it's not enjoyable to me. I play survival games because I want to start with nothing and have an abundance. Not because I want to start with nothing and keep it on having nothing. Good work. Uh, bring me some fish. And then you can stop. You can see him pull fish out of nowhere. He does that. See? Put the fish down, homie. Other stuff to do. It's not like I can fish, catch my own fish. I guess that's what they consider a hot bar in this game. Is this backpack, and it's really stupid. I don't, I don't care if it's realistic. I want a, I want a hot bar. Drop the fish. This is man-made. There's an inkjet printer, or whatever printer it is. Mm, what's it about to print? Is it sled from me or is it sled from materials? If it, if the recipe takes rope, you might as well not have the recipe. Rope is really hard to come by. So is cloth. Drop the fish, homie. What are you staring at me for? You falling in love with me? That's how you get your feathers. You can't put the bird house near any place where you frequent because you will scare the birds away. This is all, the, all there is to the game for real. I mean, there's the monsters, but... I don't, I don't know what you're going to do with the monsters. Uh. 
You like that? I don't think that's happening, homie. You better get your arrows back before you chop them up, I'll tell you that. Yeah, like I was saying, the monsters, you, you can't really go after them. Because you see what it took to take this one dude down. You talking about you got multiple monsters? That's just not happening. I mean, if I had like a gun and some bullets, then I could go after the monsters like talking about, and that would be a pretty fun game. But for real, all this is, is yeah, you could have some fun with PvP, I guess. But... As a, as a single player survival game, which is what I like, this game sucks. Uh, first person, yeah, no, no. I mean, $20 tops for this game. And really, that's being generous because there's no content. I don't care if it's early access. If it's if it's early access, then charge me an early access price. Don't don't charge me forty dollars for a for a fifteen dollar game and and tell me that I need to support the developer. The developer needs to support me. So really, all it is is a base building game where cannibals come along and annoy you while you're building your base in the crafting. Is it better than the forest? Yeah, but what's not better than the forest? Okay, the forest was just junk. If you liked it, you liked it, but I didn't. It was, it was a, a trash game. This game is better, and maybe some years from now, it will be even better. But now, no, it's, it's not there. It's got a long way to go before it's worth forty dollars. I don't know why they couldn't have told me arrows was full before I, before I put all that stuff there. I mean, it's decent. It'd be good if it was fifteen dollars for forty dollars. No, no way. You can go to support the developer if you want to.